It's estimated that if a nuclear warhead hit London, it would kill over half a million people and injure another million. Little is known about what military response would be taken by the UK and the US to such an attack because it's obviously top secret. But we do have an idea of what information and guidance would be delivered to the general public and how. The government has the ability to send a text message to every mobile phone in the UK at the very same time. So this would most likely be the first port of call. The British government would first restrict access to all base transceiver stations. This would put every phone in the country into receive only mode. Your mobile would be able to receive calls and text messages, but unable to send any. This way the government could reliably send further instructions every few minutes. The government would likely instruct everyone to get to the most central location within their house, usually on the stairs. This way there will be the most amount of dense material between you and the deadly radioactive fallout outside. Matter absorbs radiation. A house is not going to stop you receiving a potentially deadly dose of radiation, but the more matter between you and the radiation the better, and the more likely you are to survive because your body will absorb much less of it. However, those within a 0.6 km radius of the blast site will be instantly vaporised by the huge fireball resulting from the bomb, as will everything else. Every single thing inside this area, it doesn't matter how thick those people's walls are, and those within 1.2 km of the blast don't stand much chance either. For those slightly further away from the bomb who have taken shelter in the centre of their houses, they will need to wait at least two days in the same spot. That's roughly the time it takes for outside radiation levels to die down, to a level that wouldn't cause a gruesome death within a few hours from just minutes of exposure. Radioactive fallout would be carried by the wind hundreds of miles from the blast site, so people all over the country would be advised to stay inside. After two weeks, the atmospheric radiation levels would have dropped to 1% of their initial level. The government will likely advise everyone to wash their hair as soon as possible after the blast using shampoo to remove radiation that has clung onto it. The advice would also suggest removing contaminated clothing and placing it somewhere away from you and your family. Doing this can remove as much as 90% of the radiation on your person. It would also be wise to wash often if possible. 